At the U.N. this week, new warnings about the global threat of climate change and the need for governments to respond. The challenge coming into sharp focus this summer in Greece. Keir Simmons saw the catastrophic impact. Tonight, after a summer of devastating storms, ferocious wildfires and scorching heat, Greece is facing a war with climate change. It's a war we, we have to fight with, with an enemy we cannot, sometimes we cannot avoid, sometimes we can contain. Greece and governments around the world facing an unprecedented challenge. We left Athens, travelling along the stunning coastline to a different Greece in the central region of Thessaly. Seven days after catastrophic floods here, we met Georgia, weeping at what's left of her home, one of her few belongings saved, a wedding photo with her late husband. <laughs> My daughter and grandson almost drowned, she says. Everywhere, cars are abandoned, houses are ruined. This is Sotiris, this is his house. Is there anything left? Nothing, only the walls. They are angry, not at the changing climate, but that officials didn't protect them. They could have given you a warning. Yes, we just woke up in the water. This local union boss has come with clean water and condemnation for what he says is the government's lack of response. So you, you blame the government of more course. than climate change? Of course. The climate change is global. Hundreds of miles away, ground zero for Europe's biggest wildfire. Environmentalist Theodora Scarzi blames declining rural communities, failures in forest management and then the intense heat. We haven't prepared for climate change. I, uh, for sure we are not prepared. The country's leading climate scientist says the impact on Greece is a warning to the world. Civil protection programs, he says, are just not adequate for this new global reality of extreme weather. It's biblical. Floods it and is. fires. It is. But without having Noah's Ark. What is Noah's Ark for yeah. you in Greece? Noah's Ark would be a preparation for such big disasters. To prevent to prepare properly. To prepare properly. And Kira, back with us here in New York. All this is a big climate change summit is happening at the UN. Yes, Lester, but that summit is aimed at how to slow climate change. The example of Greece shows how much it is costing to deal with the consequences of climate change. Just this month, Europe pledged an extra $2 billion to Greece. All right, Kira, good to have you here. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.